We sometimes tend to think that love is something that we create, something that starts within us. Certainly, feelings, emotions, attractions come from us, but if it's going to be the true love, it fits in the stream of love which was there before we were here, the current of divine love. And that is what Debbie and Chris are sharing today and we're sharing their lives. Debbie, I knew the first time that I met you that you were very special. I knew that I wanted to get to know you in a way that I didn't think was likely to happen. To my surprise, you did fall victim to my charm and decided to take a chance on me. I know that there have been times that you have questioned the sanity of that decision, but I am very grateful that you've chosen to share your life with me. As with most relationships, there have been some ups and some downs, but we have found a way to make it through them all. I've learned a lot from you and I'm a better person today because of you. For this, I am very grateful. I love you now as much as ever, and that will never diminish. I can't imagine life without you in it. I know that one responsibility of being your husband is striving to bring us both closer to God and trying to ensure that we are with him after the physical life has gone. I take this responsibility very seriously and look forward to sharing this continual exploration with you. I will always love you unconditionally through the good times and the not so good times and look forward to our continued journey together. I will always love you, Chris. Every marriage is a new expression of this love of God because every human being is unique. Every human being has a history and experiences and a free will. There are no duplicates. And so when two free people come together and commit themselves to this kind of love, they create a new expression of God's love in the world. Oh my dear, why don't we just pack our bags and fly far from here? Oh my dear, why don't we just hop a train and ride far from here? There are so many easy jokes that I could go with here. But guys, you agree, right? The, the wedding, the reception, everything, that's, it's for the bride, right? It's all for her. And th there was no way I was going to talk about, thank goodness, she finally found love at her age, and it's refreshing to see that she could. That you belong to me. If I could fly away, wouldn't you think I'd fly right to you? If I could go anywhere, I wouldn't go unless you go. Debbie, I just want to say sincerely that you are a very beautiful woman. Thank you. You deserve so much better than Chris. My dear, why don't we break all our plans and take a holiday? Man, this is a watch that I've been wanting. That is a watch I've been wanting. <laughs> I, Chris, take you, Debbie, to be my wife. I, Chris, take you, Debbie, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I'm just so grateful 
that they have each other because they really do complete each other in every sense of the word. They love each other, support each other, and just hold each other up all the time. And I couldn't be more thankful to have him in her life because I know she feels complete with him and he with her. Mr. and Mrs. Chris Peel. Oh, yeah. We can't control how you feel about this or that. Some people like asparagus, some people don't. You can't make somebody like it, but you can decide to eat it. True love is something you decide on, and then you do what it takes to make it live in your life.